there are certain places during the winter migration where you just can't believe the volumes of bird activity and the diversity in their species. This is Aminpur Lake, an inland water body located in the South Indian state of Telangana. During migration and in winter, birds converge there from all over the continent. As many as 270 species were reported from this lake, both resident and migratory birds. To the casual eye, the habitat appears to be rather uniform. But to the keen eye, the multitude of shapes, sizes, build types and behaviors reveal a much more complex picture. Different species forage in their favorite microhabitats and use unique tools. With a long beak, white barred wings and a namesake tail, the black-tailed corvids are distinctive and elegant birds. They are gregarious medium-sized waders with a long and slightly up-tilted bill. They are more of tactile foragers. They put their very sensitive bills into the sand repeatedly in areas where they have high probability of locating food items. The most common feeding method is to probe vigorously up to 36 times per minute. They feed by picking and forward probing and swallowing by upward flicks of both bill and head. Black winged stills are unmistakable birds with a bold black and white body, balanced on long reddish legs along with fine black bill and big red eyes. Compared to the body size, the stills have the longest legs on any bird. Their long legs enable them to wade in deep water and provide a high vantage point from which they can scan the water surface for prey. They use their excellent vision to forage by sight, picking invertebrates from the surface. Common snipes are handsome and fairly chunky with very short legs and long bill. They are pale underneath and brown above. The common snipes are well camouflaged birds and are usually shy and conceal themselves close to the ground vegetation. They use their 7 cm needle-like dark long sensitive bills to probe the soft mud with distinctive swing machine feeding action. They mainly eat insects and earthworms as well as some vegetation. These birds forage by probing in shallow water or in wet mud. The common sandpiper forages by sight on the ground or in shallow water picking up small food items such as insects and other invertebrates. When foraging, it is more relaxed and controlled, does not do any wild sprints and walks bobbing all the time. The wood sandpipers forage by probing in shallow waters or in wet mud. They mainly eat insects or small prey. The wood sandpipers probe or sweep bills through the water. The Kentish plovers are predominantly insectivores, feeding on the large range of arthropods and invertebrates using the run and stop method. They run for a little while, stop, survey the area around them, spot something and then run and grab it. Like most plovers, the little ring plovers also do the run, stop, run foraging method. They primarily forage by sight. They have large eyes, great sight with little short bill. They locate things on the surface by sight, run over and grab them over and over. They don't probe deep into the substrate. Stints do a lot of their foraging using their small bills. 
by probing and pecking on the wet surface. It is incredible to watch them because they are foraging and you don't really see them catching anything. They are repeatedly pecking and probing and we know they are eating things. But their speed and reflexes are so fast that you can't even make out what they are eating. They are just on their constant fast-paced quest for food. The Eurasian coots are omnivores and live on the variety of small live prey, algae and vegetation. The coots graze on the land and on surface of the water. The cormorants have broad webbed feet, a rather long neck and a large strong bill with a sharp hook at its end. They catch fish by diving from the surface, chasing their prey underwater and seizing it with the hooked bill. The communal feeding strategies adopted by the cormorants is an adaptation to the herd shoals of fish which improves prey capture rates. This technique can have particular benefits in more dirty waters. Eurasian spoonbills have long straight ridged bills with a spatulate tip. They forage by walking slowly in shallow water with a semi-open bill partially submerged. The prey is detected by touch. They often feed in small groups in shallow waters with the birds walking close to each other, making the foraging more efficient. The spoonbills move their head and bill from side to side in the water, while the bill rapidly and alternately opens and closes. The greater flamingos are the largest species of flamingos and stand around 5 feet tall. Their large size allows them to wade into deeper water. The greater flamingos are omnivores and filter feeders. They have long, lean, curved necks and black tipped bills with a distinctive downward bend. They use their long legs and webbed feet to stir up the bottom of the water, where they then sweep their bills upside down through the water. They feed with their head fully immersed in the water and can remain that way for up to 20 seconds. The flamingos pump their tongues up and down 5 to 6 times per second, pushing the water out of their beak. Mm -hmm.